Uh, the last question I have for you before I bring on the guest for the topic, marriage for a lifetime, is this. Quite often when people start out on a journey, they face stumbling blocks. Sometimes it's lightning storm. Sometimes it's hailstones. Sometimes they just hit rocks. Why do you think that some people succeed and others don't when well, they're challenged? Well, I can tell you, uh, just in, in every relationship, uh, I have children and I've been married for a long time now. Uh, what I would tell you that what tears apart most relationships, especially marriages, is that people people have to learn to keep their problems to themselves. Now, let me give you an example. Uh, if you are a couple and you've been married for for 10 years, just let's, let me just say for 10 years, and obviously just like every marriage or every relationship, there is bound to be some issues. There's bound to be differences between yourself and your spouse. And, uh, and if you imagine that in a household, where brothers and sisters, they do disagree. And can you imagine you, you, both of you are complete strangers, you meet and now you have cohabiting in, one, in, in, in the same house. There's bound to be some differences between yourself and, and your spouse. But the mistake that most people do is that they take these issues out of their home and you know, let it outside. Now, you tell me that some issue you and your spouse are having in your house, you take it outside, what makes you think that the guy who is outside or the lady who is outside is best fit to solve the problems that you and your spouse are living in your house day in, day out, you face all the issues, you see all the issues. Now you get someone who, is, who doesn't live with you, who doesn't know exactly what's happening in your household, and now this person is in the middle of your problem trying to solve their, your issues, whereas they have their own issues they can't, even, they can't even solve. Most of the time, people will not tell you what their own issues are. So I think that if you have issues in your marriages or in your relationships, the best thing to do and try if you, you know, at the very beginning is to try to resolve these issues amongst yourselves before you take it to a pastor or to a, a, a prophet or to a psychiatrist or psychologist because they truly, truly will never ever leave the life you and your spouse are living in your household, much less resolve the issues you have.